yell at night. You get all kinds of personalities. I get a lot of attitude. For some reason, it's always our fault that they're in there and they have no accountability for their own actions. And it just makes it harder for them here. We can get through it a lot more smoothly than when they fight us. Face the wall, spread your feet. You don't think sharp on anything that could cut me? Like my like zippers? No, more like, like well, safety like pins. Wow, if you just listen to me. <laughs> I'm more concerned about safety pins, razor blades, knives, no, needles. Honey. You know what, that feels good. Oh, you're one of those kind of girls, thanks. No, but you know what, can you? No, I think you are. No, honey, Go ahead and face the wall and keep quiet. Put the bra underneath my... No. Put it back where it belongs. No. But in a minute, you can do it. All I need is a boobie under the wire. Just... I think you can take care of your own boobies, ma'am. I'm not touching it. your boobs, ma'am. No, just put it underneath the bra. Nobody right here wants to touch so your boobs. so uncomfortable. Honey. Now, this is what's going to happen. Listen to me. All right. Go ahead and fix your bra. Go ahead and take your jacket off. Not very smart. Not very smart. Put your hands up on the wall. Whatever you want, girl. Honey. Girl. Honey. She girl. likes me. I swear to God. Hey, honey. Go ahead and put your cute little shoes on. I don't want to hear nothing from you guys. Are you just going to stand here all night, ma'am, or are you going to go to your seat? Second row from the back, all the way to the last chair. Behind you guys. Careful, I, she's a grabber. Can I no. My, can I Negative. Nope, you can't. No, second from the end, so it'd be this one, all the way to the very last seat. What's her story? She's staring at me. Um, I saw her coming down off the off ramp, really erratic, cutting in and out of traffic, doing 65 and a 35. And uh, so I lit her up trying to get her to stop. She finally pulled over, you know, and there, everything was, hey, babe, how are you? Know, you know, I'm working, you know. I said, have you been drinking? She goes, maybe one cocktail. Said, What's maybe? You know, either you've been drinking or you haven't. So we did the PBT, she failed that miserably. We get her down here, just as I'm walking in the door, she goes, you know, when I see you out on the street, she was gonna run me down. Yeah. Okay. So, Good to know. Well, that's another charge. Did you have any alcohol tonight? Yeah. How much have you had? I had two years. Hey, Sarah, I'm gonna read you something. You're required to submit to an evidentiary testing of your blood or breath to determine alcohol content. Do you understand that? I'm sorry, could you read that again? Please? Faster or slower? Slower, sweetie, please. What part didn't you understand? All of it. Start from the beginning. Read it over. Okay, let's go. Into the next I'm room. I'm sorry, I didn't... Come on, ma'am. I didn't read that. Okay, if you're Did not you gonna walk, then I'm just that? gonna help you walk this way. Did you guys get that? Let's go. I understood it, and I wasn't even I close to you. That. Could be the alcohol. Really? Can I'm I just saying. Here? Just <laughs> saying. Have a seat on this chair. No, 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 I'm not doing anything until you read me my rights. I did. Listen, listen Sir, to what medical has to tell you. Situation, okay? Can you comply and just be cool and be taken real quick? You sit in the back row with everybody else, or you cannot comply. We strap you to a chair, and then I take it anyways, and then you sit in the chair. Okay, so I have no options. Yeah, cooperate or not cooperate. Good choice. Let's get it done and over with. It's almost done, okay. You're all done. Tequila. And you're done. She's having a hard time complying with instructions right now. She came in and she's really liking the attention that she's getting from everybody. Whatever, I'll just take it and deal with it and we'll get her through the process, but it's all on her right now. We're all trying to be as patient as we possibly can with her. Sarah? Yes? Sarah? Yes? Um, what happened tonight, though? I didn't get your side of the story. When I came from Paradise, you know, the airport connector is very confusing now. It's not an easy, this is true. like, emerge. I sped up a little bit to get in front of a cab. I sped up a little bit. Your friend Dave felt it necessary. My friend Dave? Yeah, your he friend is my Dave. friend. Okay, go yes, ahead. your friend Dave. Yes, my friend Dave. And he decided to pull me over, and I guess the rest is history. I didn't think I had that much to drink. I think that he was doing an, an excellent job in making sure nobody was hurt tonight. I mean, my, a, I have a family member that died from a drunk driver, okay. so it's a little so personal to me. To you, two beers. He had two you. beers. He did have two beers. Two beers. And two his beers. life is—he's in prison right now. Would you want that to happen to you? Yes, you're so have you ever been molested? I don't know why we're talking about child molesters. Because we're talking about your you charges think tonight. That child okay, I have a feeling you're gonna fight me with everything. A little bit more important. And I to can take tell. Out the no, 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 sir. No, 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 no. We're no, cool. No, 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 we're cool. cool. And no, no, but really, you're not taking any accountability for what you did tonight. The fact is, is that you know it's against the law to drink yeah, and drive. The law is, is that I'm you not. cannot drink and drive, right? And that's what you did. I cannot drink to a certain point and drive. 
All right, Sarah, I'm going to leave you here to think about it. I'm sorry you had a bad time tonight, but I'm very happy that nobody got hurt, including you. Okay, I just want you to put your thumb up here. All right. Okay, you're going to go back to your seat, but first of all, is there anything you want to tell my buddy Dave? I do, Dave, I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to. What are you sorry about? That me being mean to you. I didn't mean it. Well, you said you were a nice girl. I would, it's kind of hard I to had say a, you're a nice girl and then say the things you did. I of anger, and I'm sorry. Okay. I, I hope everything it. works out for you, okay? Okay. I'll well, take good care of you. Here. Accept my apology. Yes, I do. As long as it's sincere. I did mean it. Okay. All right, sir, you can go back to your seat. Thank you. We'll get her through the process, and as long as she just goes with the flow, it's not going to be a problem. female inmates that come in, the majority are prostitutes. The other crimes that we have that are really common are DUI and drugs. Usually if it's their first time, we really have to keep an eye on them because they are a lot more unpredictable and we have to handle that as quickly and swiftly as possible. Nice costume. Thanks. What are you? A cat, or was a cat. A cat. You were a cat? No tail? <laughs> no tail. Anything in your bra? No. What are you in here for tonight? Uh, I hit my boyfriend. You hit your boyfriend? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because he tried to leave me stranded. I have a temper and I got angry and slapped him. Just like a cat? Over this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go the whole way down and sit in the last... We'll sit beside the female that you came in with. So what's up with the cat woman? Well, she was at a local club down at the Hard Rock. Had a little too much to drink and decided to slap her boyfriend. She couldn't claw her way out of this one. You were just in here. What? You couldn't stay out of trouble. No, I, I did. What's she getting arrested for? Trespassing, possession of dangerous weapon on school property. What'd you have? A knife. I always carry on me. But you can't have it on school property. Well, I didn't know that. All right, Blondie. That's her name, Blondie. Yeah. 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 We got legally married. When did you do? When, when did you get married? Sit through twenty eight. Come on. Yeah. All right, go ahead and sit in the last chair down there, Ron. Yeah. Hey, don't get that plane, honey. My husband's getting arrested for trespassing and then also probation violation. Okay. You just met your husband? Yeah. All right, stand on the line, face the wall. I love you. I'm actually surprised she got married. Take the jacket off. Well, the good thing is that charge won't hold you for too long, so. Mm. You don't have any warrants, do you? Yes. Well, then you might be here a little longer. If you have warrants. Oh, yeah, that's a good possibility. Yeah. All right, come on. Have a seat on the last chair. I made contact with her and her husband about a month and a half ago. Uh, they were up at a school sleeping just downtown here. I uh, told them that they had to leave. I came back today. Uh, they were both there again, so I stopped them. Um, I get her into uh, him into custody for trespassing. She has a long history of meth use, um, and she's 43 years old. Wow. All right, thanks. What'd you have the knife for? Protection. You guys always know that, that when I come here, I have that knife for my protection. Because Is it a I, big one? No, it's a bigger, bigger one like that. Okay, because I have more seizures. You have and, seizures? Yes, and I can't fight like I used to. And my baby not being there. How old are you? How old are you? I don't know. Honestly. I'm no, asking you. No, didn't get You look like you're 35. Yeah, right, I'm 43. Wow. What kind of drugs, what's your favorite drug? Meth. Meth? It lasts longer. It lasts yeah, longer. How's it, how's it make you feel? Perfect. All right, Blondie. OK. Hector, do you do drugs with her? Or? No, don't do drugs, period. You don't? No. You going to help her try and get off of it? I, what do you think I'm doing? Is that what you've been doing? Yeah. You haven't seen her here in quite a while, have you? Mm, I haven't, no. Yeah, that's why. So how long have you known Blondie? A couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. Yeah, she's a really good, she's a beautiful person, really. Well, it sounds like you're difference. pretty good for her, a Hector. Difference. Well, I want to get her to California. we got to get out of this godforsaken city-ass yeah. town, you know? Yeah, that sounds like a plan, Hector. It is. Maria, have you ever been arrested before? No. <laughs> so, what happened last night? Oh, uh, well, my boyfriend. Spread your feet. Um, he 
tried to leave me at Hard Rock, and I was like, I drank a little bit, and you know, I got upset because he like kept ignoring my phone calls because he thought I was like dancing with some guys. So he left because he thought you were with another guy. Yeah, and then I saw him, and I just got upset go and hit him. Where'd you hit him? I slapped him in the face. You didn't scratch him with no. your little cat claws? No. <laughs> no, I just hit him, and then the bouncer saw it. He was like, oh. Did he want you to get arrested? No, he wanted me Did to get... Did your hands cross your chest? He wanted me to get kicked out or something. How long have you guys been together? Almost a year. Almost a year? And you're down here from where? Seattle. When do you have to go back? Uh, tonight. <laughs> tonight? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take you back behind this curtain and we're going to take off your costume. Did you guys ever fight like this before? Well, yeah. All right. Come on over here. Okay, you're gonna sit on the right hand side. Don't get up unless you hear your name called or you raise your hand and get permission, okay? Am I allowed to step You have to raise your hand and get permission from the officers oh. that are working out here, okay? Good luck. Come on, Blondie. Stand right here. Let's see. How many times do you think you've been here? Don't don't say it. Don't. <laughs> Holy smokes. How many times? Forty-three. Uh-huh. Wow. This way. Alright, Bonnie. I'm gonna sit you right here in this row, uh -huh. okay? Don't get up unless you hear your name called, okay? Alright, good luck, Blondie. She just got married, so hopefully uh, that'll straighten her up and uh, we won't be seeing her too much as we have in the past. When are you supposed to go back to work? I was actually supposed to go tomorrow. <laughs> Well, yeah. Maria, good luck. Thank hope everything you. works out. Yes, I hope so too. Maybe you uh, should get some anger management classes so you don't hit anymore. Or I should just stop drinking, period. <laughs> There's a thought. Try that. Yeah. Good luck with that. She's paid her bail. She'll be able to get out and go home and fly back to Seattle tonight, and hopefully she'll learn her lesson. <laughs>